Today we're going to be looking at surface area of right prisms. This is from Open Up, 7th grade unit 7, lesson 14. So what is surface area? Surface area is the total area of all the exposed faces of an object. We're going to look at some prism nets from Annenberg Media just to look at how these things compose and decompose. So right here you're going to see a triangular prism, and to the right we'll see a net. If I play this, you'll see how the net can fold up to make the triangular prism. When I unfold it, I want you to notice the shapes that are making up that net. If you look at a rectangular prism, it's kind of similar. Here's the net, and you'll see it fold up to create a rectangular prism. Again, as it decomposes, I want you to notice what do you think is similar in the net of the triangular prism compared to the rectangular prism, and what is different? We'll check out one more, this pentagonal prism, looking pretty cool. As you fold it up, it forms right into that prism, and as you unfold it, it looks like this. As you were watching, you might have noticed that prisms can always be cut into three pieces. No matter what prism I was showing you there, they always had two bases. And then there was a long rectangle whose length was the perimeter of the base and whose width is the height of the prism. So when we're trying to find surface area, we've got a couple different methods that we can use. The first one is just to find the area of each face and total up those areas. And the second one is to find the area of the bases and add that to the area of the big rectangle. So I want you to see how well you understood this lesson today and just wrap up and see if you can find the surface area of the prism shown below. And I'd like you to encourage yourself to try to confirm it using both strategies. So first, go ahead and add the areas of all the faces. And second, use the perimeter of the base, the big rectangle, and see if you get the same answer both times. So I'd like you to pause the video and then try this problem on your own and come back and see how you did. All right, so with the first method, adding the areas of all the faces, I started out with the rectangles, and we have a 14 by 13, which is an area of 182 square millimeters, and another one that matches that exactly. Then we're going to see the other rectangle is slightly different. It's a 10 by 14, so it has an area of 144 square millimeters. Remember, for our triangle, we're going to do 1 half face times height. So we do 1 half times 10 times 12, and we get an area of 60 square millimeters. And the other, rectangle, the other triangle matches that exactly, so it's also 60 square millimeters. If we add up the areas of each face combined, we're going to see that our total surface area is 624 square millimeters. Okay, So let's look at if we try the perimeter of the base. So we're going to look at one big rectangle and then both triangles. So checking out the big rectangle, we're going to notice the height of this rectangle can be found by 13 plus 10 plus 13. Incidentally, that is the perimeter of our base, of our triangle there. So we have a 36 millimeter by 14 millimeter rectangle, which has an area of 504 square millimeters. And then again, we have the same two triangles that we already had in our last, 60 square millimeters each. So to sum these, 504 plus 60 plus 60, we get 624 square millimeters. And that's awesome because it's the same exact area that we had last time. So we can have confidence that we're probably correct. All right, so remembering our goals for today, do you feel like you can picture the net of a prism to help you calculate the surface area? And are you able to find and use shortcuts when calculating the surface area of a prism? If so, excellent.